Okay, I had one of my um, one of my subscribers ask about a, asked me to do a, a bait wrapping demonstration. Said I went a little too fast during the video, but the heat of the battle, you know, you're gonna go as fast as you can and get your rods back out there. So this is how I do my sardines. Cut it right there. Cut it right there, and then just slice it down. Take your sardine off like that. I trim them up a little bit. Now, if they get too wide in here, I'll trim a little bit on each corner like this. This one's not too wide, but in case it was, then I just take and slice it down the center like this. Make sure it's cut all the way through because their skin's tough. Some scales on it. And take one of your Rob's Dragon Glows. Stick it from the top down to the bottom like this. That way if you're in fast water or something, you don't have to worry about uh, <clears throat> the bait working its way off while you're in the fast water. It'll tend to stay on a lot better. So, uh, start in the back with this stretchy thread. Get the Big Red Bait Company. Start wrapping it on here like this. Just winding it on. Put my hook over, wind it on up here. And when I get to the top, what I'll do is I'll do a few wraps like this. Just kind of 45 in it on there. You hit any areas like this where it's sticking up still. Just kind of put one on there, one on there. And then I'll run one wrap around. And then I just go twice underneath. Then I utilize this little indentation between the, the nose and the body of these fish and just pull a thread down inside of there, do it twice. And pull it down inside of there again. Just like that, right there. That'll, that'll last all day if it doesn't get a fish. Even if it gets a fish, you can usually leave it on there for the next fish. Just bring it in once in a while, maybe every 20 minutes, half an hour, put some fresh set on it, run it right back out there. Now I also do tuna, which you can't do that to, to put in the set back on it, run it back out there. You have to retie it on every time. I'll do it with my tuna. So wrap it on here like this, get a couple wraps on there started. Get your water tuna, stick it on here. And you start wrapping it loosely, not real tight at first. Just kind of holding it in place. And as you wrap it on there, it just go tighter, tighter. And you want to do like the 45 thing quite a bit. 45 this way, 45 this way. Go straight. Run it up here like this. Kind of overdo it a little bit because a lot of it falls off. Same thing, easy wrapping, easy wrapping. And then start going tighter, tighter. I'm going to do a few extra ones up here. Any place it looks like it's not quite held on yet. Do the same thing. Wrap it around a couple times through there, down to that little indentation one more time. And there it is. There you go. So I wrap my bait. I'm good to go.